Until the lions have their own historians, the tales of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. Africa, a continent rich in history and culture, stands at a crossroads of perception and reality. Our ancestors left a legacy of greatness, evident in the pyramids of Egypt, the universities of Timbuktu, and the ancient kingdoms that once flourished across this vast land. Contrary to the values of our antiquity, today's Africa presents a different picture, a continent where, on a global scale, mediocrity appears to have taken root. Despite some progress, there remains a stark contrast to the excellence our ancestors achieved. In every field of knowledge, from science to the arts, we find ourselves grappling with the reality of not leading on a global scale. This lag in excellence is not just an observation, but has become an accepted norm, diminishing our collective self-esteem. This begs the question, what did our ancestors possess that we are missing today? How did a continent, once a beacon of knowledge and innovation, find itself struggling to reclaim its position of excellence? This is more than a story of a continent. It's a journey to rediscover our lost excellence. Together, let's explore what Africa was, what it is, and most importantly, what it can become. As you must know by now, we always provide a detailed historical context when discussing contemporary issues about Africa and its people, both on the continent and in the diaspora. The ancient Egyptians referred to themselves as Remitu, meaning the exemplary humans or the perfect beings. This title reflected their self-perception as the epitome of humanity's potential. This mindset of striving for excellence was not limited to the elite. It was a societal norm, from the pharaohs who commissioned grand projects, to the skilled workers who brought these projects to life, to the high-ranking officials who organized these endeavors, to the scholarly priests who conceived them. Knowledge in ancient Egypt was broadly categorized into two areas, humanities, including history, philosophy, religion, linguistics, and art, and exact sciences, like mathematics, physics, biology, architecture, and medicine. The humanities were seen as the bedrock of mental and moral development, instilling strength and self-assurance. From this foundation, Egyptians utilized exact sciences to build and innovate. This shows that neglecting the humanities can eventually impact a society's prowess in scientific fields. The Egyptians' excellence was partly due to their humanities, reinforcing their sense of perfection. Pride in their African heritage was a core part of the Egyptian identity. Their theology, culture, and language celebrated their blackness and African roots. They revered the sun as a divine symbol that marked them with its life-giving qualities. Africa, especially the Great Lakes region, considered the cradle of humanity, held a sacred place in their hearts. They honored their ancestors, seeing themselves as their physical, spiritual, and intellectual successors, continually pursuing knowledge. In this environment of self-respect and cultural pride, the Egyptians saw themselves as extraordinary beings. This profound self-confidence, rooted in their belief as the first people descended from divinity, fueled their pursuit of knowledge. Their achievements, a testament to their relentless effort, reinforced their view of themselves as Remitu, beings of perfection and divinity. We descend from people with a great history. So how did we get to this point? Let's draw upon an inspirational quote from one of our revered master teachers. In the words of John Henrik Clark, every idea, every so-called religion that was introduced to this continent, Africa, was about dominating and controlling. The Arabs have no illusions about it. The Europeans have no illusions about it. You are the one who is deluding yourself. The adoption of Islam by some Africans led them to undervalue their own heritage and aspire to emulate Arab culture, viewed as superior. Meanwhile, in the late Middle Ages, Europe began promoting white supremacy globally, rewriting history to position themselves as the primary civilizers of humanity. This narrative painted Europeans as the epitome of civilization and knowledge, leading them to believe in their superiority over other races, particularly black people, who were often seen as less than human. No one culture or group 
be it Europeans, Arabs, or Asians, is inherently superior to another. All humans share equal potential and intellectual capacity. The successes we see in various cultures today are not because they are inherently more capable, but because they have laid a strong foundation in their humanities before advancing in practical sciences. This is a crucial step that some Africans overlook when they talk about development. True development begins with enriching the soul and mind, a path that other cultures have taken. For instance, European thought is rooted in Greco-Latin traditions, Arab culture in Islamic philosophy, and Chinese thought in Confucianism and modern philosophical ideas. These cultural backgrounds have instilled confidence and self-worth in these societies, something we need to rediscover and rebuild in our own culture. Recent attempts by black people to reclaim their history has faced a lot of backlash from other so-called races. Have you ever wondered why? Well, I will tell you. They have realized we are finally on the right path to development. By rediscovering and developing our humanities, we have initiated our emergence from obscurity. After we have acquired a thorough sense of self-worth, we will proceed to the next step. That is the development of the exact sciences. This is what the West and its allies fear the most. The fiercest of opposition is felt when the enemy is about to fall. This is our deep conviction as Africans committed to our renaissance. Psychologists often emphasize the power of self-perception. How you see yourself shapes your actions and outcomes. If you view yourself as perfect, you're likely to strive for perfection in what you do. Conversely, if you consider yourself inferior or evil, your actions may reflect that belief. This concept is particularly relevant to Africa, where many people struggle with a sense of inferiority that has been influenced by historical interactions with Arab and European cultures. The key to overcoming this challenge lies in reshaping this mental foundation. It involves rejecting the destructive beliefs imposed by historical events and reclaiming the positive self-view of their ancestors. By embracing and valuing their own culture, languages, and heritage, Africans can build a foundation for renewed collective intelligence and effective rebirth. This shift in mindset is crucial for addressing the cultural and psychological impacts of the past and moving towards a future of empowerment and self-determination. The key to Africa's progress lies in Afrocentric education, which focuses on rebuilding African humanities based on Egyptian heritage, a high point in black history. Please note that unlike the trolls online who scream Afrocentricity, at the least challenge to their sense of self-worth. Afrocentricity is nothing derogatory. We have discussed this in a previous video. The Afrocentric approach involves instilling a sense of pride in African roots, viewing Africa as the cradle of humanity, and holding African languages and cultures in high esteem. It's about seeing beauty in every shade of black and following the ancient Egyptian ideals of perfection, knowledge, and excellence. Those who embrace Afrocentric ideology should commit to contributing positively to Africa in areas like industry and services, striving for excellence in all endeavors. This philosophy demands high ambition, dedication to perfection, and a strong belief in one's worth, aligning with the teachings of the Kamites, true ancient Egyptians who were indisputably black. This approach contradicts the notion that Africa's development depends on abandoning its heritage. Instead, it advocates for a return to and a deep embrace of African culture and values, honoring the legacy and aspirations of the ancestors. You descend from a proud people. Be black and proud.